It's RPG a day, day five, and my computer is giving me grief, and I have a short time frame, so I have to do this with my phone. So, today's question was about uh, which RPG cover best captures the spirit of the game, and I was looking through a lot of my favorites, and I couldn't really discover any, any uh, specific ones where I felt the cover really, like, encompassed the spirit of the game in the sense that if, when you look at the cover you really get a good feel of what the game is gonna be like and what it's going for. Especially a lot of the uh, old World of Darkness games, the uh, covers are usually just the name, uh, a texture, background, and an item that has to do with it, but it really doesn't tell anything about the tone of the, of the game. And a lot of times it's like the movie covers where it's like uh, a collection of uh, faces and heads of uh, different characters or something like that. In the Song of Ice and Fire RPG that I really like, the cover is beautiful, but it's about a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know, it, it, that doesn't really encompass the, all the social dynamics and political uh, aspirations and uh, all that sort of uh, motifs that the game is going for. So the game I decided on was a game I haven't even played yet myself, and that is Barbarians of Lemuria. Let's see. Let's see. There, there you go. Barbarians of Lemuria, and this, I wanted to mention this because this is one of those games where it was the cover art itself that really sold the game for me, because uh, I was watching... Um, I believe it was Samwise 7 RPG Tim who made a review of it, and uh, I was hearing a lot of negative stuff about the uh, official Conan the Barbarian role-playing games, and uh, that was, you know, uh, uh, sold to me as the good Conan the Barbarian game. Like it's an, it's not really a Conan game; it's a barbarian game. It's a sword and sorcery barbarian game. So you know, it's like it does Conan better than the official Conan does. So I figured I'd. I'd give it a shot, especially because of the cover art. When you look at the um, cover art, uh, it reminded me a hell of a lot of uh, Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy. You know, there's there's like a <laughs> gorilla occultist with a you know scantily clad slave girl summoning a Cthulhu-like creature to uh, a, 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 a gladiatory pit where a Conan-like barbarian is fighting little monster creatures, and that really captures that sort of pulp fantasy, uh, sword and sorcery kind of uh, a crass, kind of a bad taste, done in good taste kind of thing, you know, with uh, lots of violence and tits and kind of that, that sort of exploitation kind of uh, goodness. <laughs> That's not to be taken too seriously. Uh, but the art itself, I really like it. I really like it when uh, artists have a very distinct style, and I usually have, even though I like to draw in a very detailed and kind of line art, kind of uh, very, very, very like, uh, like uh, I, I, I aspire to artists like Mobius and uh, and people like that. But the style that I actually enjoy the most when I look at other people's drawings is this kind of simplified, very like, uh, very like, uh, like I, I love the art style in that. I love the art style in something like, uh, uh, let's say, in terms of animation, I love the. Uh, uh, <laughs> adventure time and that sort of thing. I love that simplified stuff. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, I don't want to go any further than this, and I don't know if I have anything else to say about it. So yeah, see you tomorrow <laughs> for day day six of RPG.